to Narnia. Here's a uh, Apocalypto, and this is every place in the Bible where you can find the word Apocalypto. Every single verse, Matthew eleven twenty five twenty seven. Chapter 16, verse 17, and on and on and on. And that is, uh, remember the word, or the number I mean, 601. And that's an A, that's a P, that's an O, and then the K is a K, of course. And then... Uh, a, and this is an L right here. That's an L. The U looks like a U. There's another P, which is P. That's also used for pi. And then there's a T, which is a T. And what looks like a W is an O. So that's how you pronounce it. A pa, ka, lip, to. Apocalypto. And then this one here is 602, and this is Apocalypsis, where you have the revelation of Jesus Christ in Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. But this gives you every verse where Apocalypsis is used. The light to the Gentiles, a light to lighten the Gentiles and revelation, which means apocalypsis, apocalypsis of the righteous judgment, apocalypsis is translated <clears throat> manifestation here, which means to be clearly seen. To manifest something means to be clearly seen <clears throat> or unveiled or revealed. So it talks about the manifestation of the sons of God. Um, here it's a uh, revelation again, according to the revelation of the mystery and on and on and on. So this is my book here of the Englishman's Greek Concordance of the New Testament and it's coded with the Strong's Concordance numbers. So like I said, each number, each Greek word has a number. So this is 601 Apocalypto and then 602 is Apocalypsis which is apocalyptic literature. The whole book of Revelation is apocalyptic literature. So, I'll send this to you.